Look at them. Look at them over there. All waiting to get in. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to do some bin sourcing? My eyeballs are still asleep, but yes, I'm ready. <clears throat> Which of us do you think is going to get the best blanket? <laughs> Step off, biatch. <laughs> Step off. Step off. I've been spending too much time with with Trish and Diane. Step off. Mm-hmm. It's Saturday morning. It's 7.58. We're gonna go hit the bins. I think we're meeting Corey here. Uh, it looks like people really seem to like the, uh, the bin sourcing videos with my little challenge. So I'm thinking we probably need to do more sourcing videos. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I think doing sourcing videos and then like a haul at the end it's cool. So it's not super hard. There's not a lot of editing. You know how Katie feels about editing peeps. I'm kind of getting more into the groove of it. Like I'm feeling a little bit better about it. It's just, I was, I went through a very small multi-year period where I really didn't want <laughs> to do small, it. A very small multi-year period where she hated oh, all of it. They're opening the doors. All right, let's go punch some people and get all the good stuff. <laughs> okay, bye. We escaped. It's almost 1030, but we're getting Dutch bros now virtually unscathed. Yes, how'd you do? Did you find anything good? I did. I found, um, I spent 60 bucks, and I think we're gonna do a little bit of a haul video. Oh yeah, we'll do home. a haul later. Uh, so I spent $60, I got quite a lot. Um, no hard goods really. Um, a couple linen pieces, but not much. It seemed like today was the day for project pieces for me. I yeah. found three or four really, really, really good pieces that need a lot of Some work, love. a lot of soaking and try to yeah. stain remove and all that kind of stuff, so. I only spent 20 bucks, but I think I got a few cool pieces. Um, but let me tell you, big changes afoot at the Las Vegas Goodwill bins. I don't know what happened in the last few days that I wasn't there, but let me tell you guys, new sheriff in town, okay? Uh -huh. They new, changed management. New sheriff in town, this guy, Oh, we gotta move forward here. We'll try not to die. Uh, before, like, you know, nobody would stand behind the red line and, and they'd get yelled at by yell, yelly, yelly lady. lady. And people would just kind of stare at her and act like they couldn't hear anything. New sheriff in town, he's got them whipped into shape. And let me tell you, they- They uh, wait behind the damn line. They wait behind that line. So I don't know what happened. So I need to find out. I'll have to investigate with Jesse. But I gotta take her home to meet up with Crystal and then I'm going to yesterday's fits. All right, I better turn off the camera or we're gonna die. I'm here at yesterday's fits and I've got one, two, three bags of stuff. Some is meh, some good stuff, some stuff I'm, he's definitely not going to want, but we're going to do a trade in and see what kind of credit I can get. All right, I brought in my stuff. What's up, Jesse? Hello. Uh, he didn't want all of that garbage of mine, so. It was a little bit too garbage for me, <laughs> but <laughs> I did take a lot of garbage. Listen, I knew there was a lot of garbage in there. It's but all right. Anyway, but you did take a little stack yeah, over here. This was all yours. And it was enough to get this entire bag of. Are you going to show him your favorite shirt right now? Well, yeah, I might as well. Uh, I am going to be doing a haul at home with Vicky in a little bit, but we will show you. I saw this and I'm like, I have to have it. I don't know what's what this. Oh no! <gasps> it's the curse of the shirt. It is the it curse is. of the shirt. Uh, Jesse, why don't you go ahead and show us? Well, I found this at the bin. I actually, I'm a liar. Lace found this at the bins, and then proceeded to throw it to me and said, "Hey, you need this." I don't. We don't know what's happening here. We've got. It says Jesus loves you. Is this supposed to be Jesus? Because I mean, I think it's a little. I don't know. We don't know, but. You can see on here it says Bethany Ministries and there's a phone number. Now this shirt, let's look at the tag. It's probably from late 80s, maybe early 90s. Maybe, but, yeah. But you know what? Daryl decided he wanted to investigate. So Daryl, what, what'd you do? Um, I texted her or the company. Said, hey, I found this shirt. Is this you? <laughs> and um, waiting for a response. I mean, to be fair, that phone number is from, like I said, late 80s, early 90s, probably a landline. Yeah. Probably not in they service probably, they're, they're probably not in service anymore. Yeah, but. <laughs> but I mean, come on, it's pretty cool. Hopefully, we get some uh, scary response that would make it even better. Now, the next thing, Jesse, we noticed today at the bins, uh, and you left pretty early. Yes. But we noticed today that something happened. There's been a shift. Mm -hmm. uh, they got a new guy there and all the boys they've been whipped into shape yeah and did i miss something did people so, get thrown out what happened last week someone got 86 um for, for the stealing, day or for good for stealing for good and then there was a lot of talking back 
to the managers about standing behind the red line. So, and then a lot of the shoe people kept throwing the shoes on the ground and someone fell because they tripped on the shoes. So there's new rules with no throwing shoes on the ground. And then they brought in two extra managers today to make sure that all the rules were enforced. Ah. So, we'll see though. Yeah, because how long that lasts. I'll tell you what, it, it there was a marked difference. Yeah. It was pretty awesome. I enjoyed it. Hey, well, as long as you enjoyed it, then that's that's cool. Well, I don't like the the yelling, but then the not actually doing anything. No, for sure. The guy that was like telling him what to do today, he was very respectful, yeah. but they were listening, so well, I, so when they opened the door right at eight, he basically like cracked the door open, was like, Hey, if anybody doesn't listen, you're getting kicked out for the day immediately. Like Good. No warnings, no nothing, like you're out of here. Good, that's all so, they need to do yeah. and then it'll be fine. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I don't go and dig in there before you're allowed to, so mm -hmm. it sucks to watch like all these guys like pulling stuff and taking yeah. it. Because yeah, like, then really? you're like, okay, there's half the good stuff is gone already before right. we're even allowed to go. Right. So. All right, guys, yeah. you heard it here, Jesse with the inside scoop. There you go. I'm back home. So what do you think? Should we do a haul? Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, yeah. let's do it. All right, so this is what I picked up today at Goodwill. Uh, I paid $50. Um, I got a couple of bread and butter pieces, but I'll, I'll show you almost all of it. I think it's pretty good. Um, this I got, this is a, I guess really like late 90s, early 2000s um, pinup brand of clothing. Uh, Betty Page, Tatiana, um, always sells well. This is an older style dress, it's super cute. Um, in fact, I don't know, I might end up keeping it. You never know. I have about 10 of these dresses in my closet. But super cute, and if I don't keep it, I mean, it's probably like a $50 dress. Let's see. I did a Katie, and I did actually get a couple of vintage men's items. This is one. This is vintage uh, Gecko Hawaii. Rude. I know. Katie loves the Gecko Hawaii stuff. However, the big thing is that this actually has some condition issues. You can see some blue, like, color bleed on it. So, I mean, I think it's just gonna go in a big old bleach bath and see what happens. Um, this fabric and this, um, oh, it's 1995, it's dated. So, you know, this fabric and these colors, the bleach shouldn't hurt it. It should, with any luck, just lighten it up a little bit and take that blue out and then it'll be in good shape. I don't know what it'd sell for. Katie, what would you sell this for? $500. Okay, if it didn't have the blue. <laughs> Maybe like 35, 40 bucks. Okay. I was thinking like 50, so I wasn't too far off. Um, let's see, this is just like a souvenir type uh, vintage, kind of like Mexican souvenir blanket dress. Um, may or may not be vintage, but these do sell, um, not for a ton, but like, it's kind of cool. It looks like a Mexican blanket that you would buy at one of the stalls at a tourist stop. And it's made into a dress. Um, again, I'm not sure value on that. Maybe 30, 40 bucks. Let's see. I did not got another cool Katie. It's small though. So this is also vintage and needs to be, um, bleached. This is a vintage Jesus tea. VBS. Who went to vacation Bible school? I, I, I did. Part of it. So, uh, yeah, the VBS 2003, exactly 20 years old vacation Bible school. Real detectives love Jesus. I don't, uh, I don't know what VBS is. But it's vacation Bible school. It's like summertime. You go during the day for Bible the week. camp for summer. Yeah, basically. It's like day camp for gotcha. kids. Uh, us Catholics don't do that. What do I know? Um, vintage 1970s polka dot blouse with like a really cool dagger collar. You'd stab somebody with that. You could. Um, like, those are like 40 bucks, those types of blouses. They're kind of a staple. Um, let's see. I got this sailing jacket. Uh, these used to sell for a lot more money, especially if they were, it was like Nautica, but they're not super desirable anymore, but I really couldn't pass it up. This really fun, bright vintage with um, like padded shoulders and stuff. And it's not stained. It's actually in really good shape. So you can see that bright eighties tag there. And you paid like two, three bucks for it. So exactly. So it would probably sell for like 50, but it wouldn't have, you know, a few years ago, this probably would have sold closer to like a hundred. Still worth picking up. Um, this brand is kind of back. This is a very Y2K thing. It's not juicy, but it's on the same vein of like juicy couture. This is like the velour 
sweatshirt. It's got a full zip in the front. I didn't really notice this bleach mark, so meh, I may or may not list it. Um, but it's got like all this bling on it. And the brand is um, Twisted Heart. And this used to sell pretty well. This is kind of like Affliction era, like early 2000s. And this particular brand used to sell for a lot more. And now that I'm seeing the damage on this, I'm probably not going to list it. But I'll still show it to you just so you can see it. I just wasted a couple of bucks on it. But I would probably sell it for like 50 or 60 if it didn't have the damage. It's not one of those that the distressed look is adding any value to it. This is one that's, you know, with the distressed, forget it. It's not really worth anything. Uh, let's see. I found two dresses by this brand I had never heard of before, and I'll show them both. So they look like they're, they gear toward uh, teachers, maybe. So this one, it has pockets. It's just like a basic dress, uh, size large with pockets. But it's, got, it's purple, and it has like fun little robots all over it. Oh, cute. And then this one has more of a Halloween print with um, oh, owls. Wow in a design, same company, same size. Well, one's extra large, What's one's large. What's it called? S-V-A-H-A. So, Svaha, -A -A. maybe? I um, don't know. Um, but they seem to have, be, have like kind of like an academic vibe to them when I looked them up real quick. There's like librarian ones and mm -hmm. uh, book catalog ones and stuff like that. So I just think they're kind of cute. Um, they're also kind of that quirky, nerdy girl style too. Uh, so they don't sell for a ton, but like maybe 40 bucks a piece or so. Uh, let's see. I picked this up for, uh, Teresa as tea money because I mean, doesn't everybody need a fake money looking clutch <laughs> purse? Clutch? What do you mean? It's not a pocket po book. Yeah. There you go. It's a pocket book. Um, I'm just going to ship this to Teresa just cause I think it has to complete her tea money outfit. When mm -hmm. she it. Um, okay, this is a vintage gold label Victoria's Secret. This is a size small, uh, like Teddy, super high-waisted Teddy. Now, this will probably sell for like $75. This is also, you'll see it's pretty dirty, needs to be washed, but it really is just like dirt, dirt from like the bins or something. Mm -hmm. It's not uh, stained. That'll come out in, in the wash. Just satin 80s Teddy. Let's see. I did get a lot of project pieces this this trip, I feel like. So this is a very old vintage um, apron. Doesn't seem like a very effective apron. No, <laughs> they're just really made for a look. Um, so it's, you know, hand embroidered. Uh, it needs to be soaked. It's probably been balled up somewhere, God knows where. So we're just gonna soak it and, and hopefully it presses out. I thought it was kind of cute. It's cute. And it weighs like nothing, an ounce. So worth picking up. Uh, this is just a vintage nightshirt, like a touristy, made in the USA nightshirt from actually it's made in Mexico. In Cabo. So Cabo San Lucas. But it's got the turtles on it. A lot of people like turtles. We were just there. We were. So probably like thirty bucks for that. I did pick up these little Hallmark ornaments that have the tags on them. Um, I don't, obviously they come from the same collection. I did not look them up. I don't know anything about them. They could be worth nothing, in which case I will keep them. And um, they're just little different snowmen. They're kind of felt and cute. Probably sell them all together. I really don't know what they're worth because I didn't take any time to look them up. They're very cute. Uh, this I normally wouldn't have picked up. Um, like Marvel stuff is just so prolific. Uh, however, this is a Marvel um, Captain America Tokidoki collab. So this is the, if you want to see what it's called, Tokidoki. And that's the one of the Japanese um, companies that does like Hello Kitty and Shopkins and like all kinds of weird stuff. So um, I thought it might have some value just because of that. Again, I have not really looked it up, but I think it's going to be more worth more than just a plain Marvel comic hoodie. So, I don't know, maybe 30, 40 bucks. I'm going to skip that for a minute. Um, 
This is just a basic, like vintage, modest style. It's like a heavy, thick baby doll style dress, but it's um, like corduroy. So I don't know if the brand has any value, but the style alone is kind of cool. Uh, it's very 90s. Oh, I like the Santa Cruz stuff. This Katie found this one for me. I like Santa Cruz. I do like ringer tees. These are combined both the same. Um, but it's just basic. This is like a $30 tee, not vintage. Um, these are vintage trousers, uh, men's trousers. They're lovely polyester. I gave those to you too. See, I don't keep all the stuff for myself now. Nope, it was only because I was with you though, probably. <laughs> But these are very uh, like 60s trousers in like this weird green. Lots of guys like this, that whole rockabilly look um, for golfing and stuff like that. They have a big cuff on the bottom. Very textured too. Yeah, it's a, just a double knit polyester. That's what the texture is. They're in pretty good shape. They're a little bit dirty around the cuffs. I'll wash them. That's the one good thing about polyester is it always comes clean. Let's see. This is just like a pretty um, pashmina that I picked up. So pashmina is just a wrap. It's super soft. I'm sure someone bought this as a gift for someone else and it was, it's was it been sitting in a drawer or closet and not really worn. There's no tags on it. It was just really pretty. Ooh, fancy. So I got that, let's see. This is like a mini wall hanging quilt. There were a few of these. Oh, that's really cute, little owl. Um, and I just, it's really pretty. It's nice colors. Um, I don't know if this is made by a company or made by a person. I, I think it's handmade. Very cute. Um, but I thought that would look, it's really cute. It would look nice in a little boy or a little girl's room. It's got kind of like those muted unisex colors. It's pretty. What's on the back? It's just the reverse. Oh. No, it's not. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's reversible. It's cute. It's a bunny. Anyway, it's not even like a full-size quilt. It's gotta be like a wall hanging or maybe like a crib quilt. Um, this is not anything super exciting, but it is vintage Nightmare Before Christmas. And it has Lock, Shock, and Barrel on it, which, and uh, Jack and Sally and Zero. So it's, and, so it's kind of one of the all-encompassing characters kind of a throw. And again, Nightmare Before Christmas stuff is really, really prolific, but the vintage Nightmare Before Christmas stuff sells really well. So we're gonna see what the tag had on it. Not super vintage, but it looks like 2007, almost vintage. Um, let's see, I'm gonna save those last three for last. Um, Vintage, cool, 80s vibe. Love it. Top, maybe like 40 bucks or so. This is a vintage. Um, like 70s, maybe. Would you have bought that for the price on the tag? Uh, no, I would not have paid $8.99, which is why it was probably at the bins. Cute. It kind of reminds me of like Candy Striper. Mm -hmm. um, it has a spot on it too. I feel like almost everything I picked up today needs to have some kind of treatment done to it. So that's kind of a pain. I try not to do that, but sometimes it's what you get. Let's see. Oh, this isn't super old, but it is a tour shirt, um, My Chemical Romance. If it's not worth anything, it'll go to my kid because she kind of loves that band, so. Uh, vintage, heavy, heavy, well-made, um, like car, car jacket. Love it. Leather. Yep, yeah, leather. It's really nicely made. I don't know what I'll sell it for, but I'll definitely list it for over a hundred. And then these are my three favorite pieces, and they're the pieces that need the most work. So, um... This is a vintage lace, probably wedding dress. 
Um, it's tiny. It's probably from the 60s. It may even be light, late uh, 50s. No tags. It is handmade. Um, it's in beautiful condition, but it's very, very yellowed. And even the yellow spots, some of them are darker than others. This probably was an ivory dress to begin with. It's not, um, not white, wasn't supposed to be stark white. But these type of older fabrics, especially the lace and then the satin and acetate underneath, they tend to really yellow over time. That's why you see a lot of the old wedding dresses like preserved. So what I'm gonna do is just soak this entire thing and see how light I can get it. Not in bleach, I'm gonna soak it in like OxyClean. I'll probably soak it overnight and see how it turns out. And then, then I have to let it air dry. The satin is the hardest part. Satin and acetate, once you get them wet, the vintage ones, they tend to really, really wrinkle up and um, sometimes even shrink just in the water. So it's kind of a, it might work, it might not. I, I don't think it will sell like this, so I've got to do something. And that's what I'm going to do. And look at these little cuffs. They're super cute. Very pretty. Um, this one, I almost threw back because it's a lot of work. This is a vintage 60s fabric. It's almost like a bark cloth, but not. The zipper in the back is, um, does not work. And it's also torn at the base of the zipper, so it needs to be stitched up and a new zipper put in. Thankfully, I have someone to do that. I have Crystal who can do anything. She and the tear is on the seam, right? The tear is on the seam. I almost threw but... it back. It's pants. Look yeah. at how cute this jumpsuit is. As soon as she saw it was pants, she was like, oh, I'm getting it. Yeah, I, it's worth investing in the new, um, in, the, in the fix when it's, when it's pants. If this were just a dress, as great as the fabric is, I probably wouldn't have invested in it, but the jumpsuit takes it to a new level. You know how cute? Can, it'll probably cost me $15 to have it repaired. I paid about a buck for it. It's big, wide leg jumpsuit. And then once it's fixed, I will sell it for about 200. I think Jody needs to buy that. It's too small. Uh, it is a very Jody piece, but it's tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny. It's not long enough, and it's also made for somebody who's probably like a size five or smaller. Um, okay, so this is actually my favorite piece that I picked up. I got it at the very end as we we're in line. I saw it sticking up in one of the bins that I know I had already gone through, so I think someone else grabbed it and then decided to put it back because it is going to be a lot of work. So what this is is a vintage... Japanese, it's made in Japan. Here's the tag. S-E-I-B-U, doesn't really mean anything, but it's a vintage Japanese wedding kimono dress. Wow. And it is beautiful, uh, but it is very, very stained. So there is a zipper up the back that I believe does not work. It's up the back and it's already separated. It might be able to be fixed, maybe not. But it's beautifully made. It's beautifully, and the fabric's beautiful, but it has a lot of stains on it. Here and here and down at the bottom. I think someone looked at this and said, ugh, too much work. And it's true, it's gonna be a lot of work to restore it, but I could not you leave it behind. You gotta save it. I couldn't leave it behind, it's stunning. So I'm gonna do my best. Um, this is another item I'm just going to soak and hope for the best. Um, the biggest problem, again, is that this is lined on the inside with what's called acetate, this vintage acetate lining. And it's very stained inside as well, water stained. However, when this type of fabric gets wet, it shrinks up and it wrinkles, very, very tight wrinkles. And um, it may need to be removed from the top if that's what happens. So, I mean, as it is now, it's not wearable and nobody was gonna save it. So for a couple of bucks and maybe some elbow grease, I think it's worth saving. If I'm able to get the stains out and make this look presentable again, I would list this for around three or $400. Yeah, it's a really nice piece. I mean, it's, it's absolutely stunning. Um, and I think that's it, that's all I What got. about your little olive oil oh, yep. scarf thing? Vintage scarf, no tags on it. Feels and looks very 60s, very mod. It's super It cute. looks like olive oil, right? I think it is. I don't know. It is, look at her hair. Come on, that's olive oil. But look, it's so, I love it, it's so cute. I found this and I'm like, I don't know what this is. There's no tags. It's a headscarf. But Vicky needs it. And it's like, uh, t it's double layered. Yeah, it's satin. I think it looks like olive oil. I, don't I know. think it is olive oil. 
Anyway, that's it. That's what I got for 50 bucks. Not bad, not too bad, right? Yep, my turn. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the stuff that I got at the bins today. And um, of course, more fisherman sweaters from Ireland. This one is Innisfree, I don't know, 100% new wool, made in Ireland. I just have like a little hole right here. But I mean, I should still sell it for like 50 bucks, don't you think? Probably. Probably. Let's see. Next up, I didn't get anything like crazy. Uh, this is made in the USA, probably 90s. And it's a MD11 McDonnell Douglas, just a plane. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, we live right near Nellis Air Force Base, mm -hmm. so we get a lot of that type of stuff. It's pretty yeah, cool. But maybe 50 bucks. Uh, next up, I got a lot of jackets today. Next up, I have this polo by Ralph Lauren, vintage 90s jacket. It's in really nice condition. This is, um, well, you can't say Harrington. You can't say Barracuda. Barracuda. You'll get in trouble. Uh, I still call it a Harrington. Well, I've had a takedown before on Etsy, so you gotta be careful. Anyway, um, I always sell those on Etsy. Yeah, but I don't know, seventy bucks maybe on Etsy, sixty-two ninety-nine is what it'll end up being on there. Uh, next up, I'm just kind of burning through these. This is Nautica. It's not really anything special, but I'm getting it at bins prices. Um, like I told you guys uh, last week, the Nautica lower case is the vintage 90s when you get the upper case that's going to be um newer and it's got the little embroidered uh sailing sailboat but it's cool but inside is lined with that uh, plaid so it looks really cool um i don't know maybe it's sell for 40 bucks well, the nautica stuff isn't doing it as well and i got this really cool retro uh dickies Shirt. It's kind of like a bowling rockabilly type shirt. Um, this is from. It was Tyler's. It was Tyler's. Mm -hmm. This is Vintage Works, which is a company in Wisconsin that does like um, custom car stuff, I think, machinery stuff. Uh, but I think it's a really cool logo, worth picking up for the dollar I paid for it. So I don't know, maybe I'll sell it for 48. Next, I got. A Christmas cat shirt. Oh dear God. Uh, this is 90s, no, 2000s, 2000, Santa Claus. Har, har, har. Vicky doesn't appreciate how wonderful it is. Maybe I'll sell I this. thought we were over the cat crap. Maybe I'll sell for 35, 40 bucks. Uh, this, I don't know what this is worth. I just thought it was cool because it is made in Japan. It's super soft. It's a polo shirt. What's on the sleeve? Uh, on the sleeve, it says um, Desert Inn LPGA International Isuzu, and then I don't know what JAL is. Okay, so Desert Inn is the is a closed casino here in Vegas, mm -hmm. and that's some type of golf something international. Yeah, but so. it's just an intro. I mean, made in Japan is very curious. Mm -hmm. but it's very very soft. I like it. And then the last thing from the bins, Vicky had to pick these up, but she got. <gasps> I thought that was the other ones I had. Never mind. I thought it was the other pair. I couldn't she find the other she one. She thought she was gonna have to murder I me. She got, I thought she scooped me. I found one, couldn't find the other. No, she thought she was gonna have to murder me. Anyway, uh, I was helping her find the other one. No, these are ones that she didn't want to get because she felt like they were too worn and, and damaged. Um, but I think they're fine. They're just, they're super worn, but there's still um, some tread left on the bottom. Uh, there's, um, you know, I'll probably just take some leather wipes to them and clean them up a little I bit. I have the Doc Martens leather cleaner. Okay. But yeah, I mean, I don't see any, I think somebody will still want to buy these. So mm -hmm. I think it was okay. worth picking them up. We'll see. We'll see. It's a challenge. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a challenge. All right. Now I'm going to go, as you guys know, I went to yesterday's fits and I did trade some stuff to them. I got, um, Jesse gave me $180 credit. Everything I got in this bag, I got for that 180 credit. So I didn't spend any money when I was in there, which is great. Um, and I got some new inventory. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. Vicky hasn't seen this one. They've seen it. Vicky hasn't seen it. We're gonna wait. We're gonna save that one. It's the best one. We'll see what Vicky's reaction is to it. Um, okay, let's see. So I've got this cool, the Ghost Train of Old Eli. 
It's kind of cool. Railroad shirt. Now, almost all of the stuff I got here, um, almost all of it was $5. Uh, there were a handful of $10 ones, and then uh, I think two $20, and then the last piece was $25. But again, that was credit. I didn't actually spend any money out of pocket. Um, let's see, he's got these all twisted up here. Here we've got Boulder Dam Rod Run, long sleeve, uh, dead stock. This was five bucks, so I went ahead and grabbed it. It's got a nice hot big, rod graphic. Hot rod graphic on the back of it. It's on the Hanes tag, this 90s Hanes tag. So um, you're just like get, getting all up in there, Vicky. Vicky, the professional camera woman today. Uh, next up, this I'm definitely going to have to bleach. Uh, this is signed. It's a Bigfoot monster truck, 1999. Look at that back graphic. Um, Scarlet Bandit. I don't know who the Scarlet Bandit is, but they signed it, and yeah, that looks I like a know. woman's handwriting. Yeah, I'll bleach it. It's, it's pretty yellow, but, you know, again, $5 credit. I'm like, I'll take it. Next up, nothing too exciting here, St. Joseph's University. They're the Hawks. And this is on the Jansport tag. 90s. St. Joseph's is a nursing school in New England. I don't know if it's the same one. But. Oh, I don't know. Next up, we've got this uh, Deadstock USSSA state tournament. How many S's Looks are like there? USSSS. What is this for? This is softball. Ooh, Bud Light. It's got Bud Light, 1990. And it's pink. Mm-hmm. Oh, it is pink. And this is on, uh, so that's 1990. Oh, Slow Pitch. That's what it is. Slow Pitch Softball Association. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it's on the Screen Stars tag. Cool. 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 Cool story, bro. Cool story, bro. Wait, you're all blurry. How do I make you not blurry? All right. There you go. That's, that's how it focused right on your crazy eyes. That's good. Diane would be impressed. Now we get this long sleeve, uh, Long Beach Centennial, 1888 to 1988. Just kind of a nothing too crazy, but somebody from Long Beach might want to get that. Okay, okay. And again, this is the Screen Stars tag. This is how you learn your tags, guys. This tag you see a lot in the early 90s and also the late 80s, apparently, according to what we're learning right here. But Oh, is that Ripley on that shirt? Yep. Quit looking ahead. Next up, we've got this. It's the GSCA Rescue Network. Uh, this is from 1992, but look at how cute. It's got little long-haired dachshunds. It's got little Ripley's on it. Yep. And uh, so that says 92. This tag you more often see on late 80s, 80s uh, stuff. But, I mean, this could be old stock that they printed on in 1992. Like, I don't know that they were still making these Hanes shirts then. Uh, next up, again, just another $5 tee. Take time to stop and smell the chili dogs. <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. Isn't that a far side shirt? Uh, no, that's not far side. Are you sure? That yeah. left character looks like a far side character. I don't I don't think it's far side, but I mean I'll okay. try. maybe it is. I can't this is like a season's greetings. Season's greetings. Okay, so it's like a Hallmark char yeah. character. Next up, next five dollar tease is from 2003. This is Oklahoma Sooners. Rose Bowl t-shirt, um, nothing crazy. Maybe I'll sell it for like 35 bucks. Next, I've got the Masquerade Village, uh, Rio, Las Vegas. Again, $5. Um, it's just kind of a cool graphic, vintage 90s. Um, it's in really good condition, so for five bucks. Next up is this Nautica Polo. I just like it because it's got great uh, colors. It's almost like a rugby shirt. Yeah, it's got great colors, the stripes. So it's really cool. This is very, very 90s. So, and again, five dollars. She's still digging. She's still digging. She got more than me today. Next, uh, this is more Nautica. I just got it because I think I paid like it was 15 again credit, but I just really liked. It's like this uh, denim jacket. It's got weird front pockets, like ch like a barn coat or like mm -hmm. a chore coat in the front, but it's, it's but it's bomber. yeah, but it's like elastic waist, so it's not long enough to be a chore coat. And then it's got all these crazy like colors. At the back. Oh, that's weird. That's so '90s. I know. Denim and plaid was such a '90s thing. And then the sleeve is uh, Pebble Beach. Cool. So it's like a golf, a golf thing. 
All right, I just got a couple more here. What is this? Oh, this is a uh, Pacific Fitness. This is like a workout shirt, crop top. I mean, show oh, off six pack. oh, that's like Pismo Beach muscle men, like mm -hmm. hanging out in the 80s with their roller rollerblades and their like super short shorts and their cutoff it's shirts. Like a neon, kind of faded neon yellow. Faded neon yellow, yeah. It's tough to tell the color, but it's definitely like that greenish yellow neon. Mm -hmm. uh, next up, I have, I like to get anything airline related. Where in the world does Delta go? And it says just about anywhere you want. Yeah, look at that thick collar. That's another sign of vintage t-shirts, that big thick collar, that ribbed collar. Mm -hmm. And you can see it's got that 80s Hanes tag. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, does this have a date on it? It doesn't look like it. But this is probably late 80s. Next up, this is another one. Uh, this I paid 10 bucks for this. Ooh, this a ooh, a rainbow members tag, only. members only. With the rainbow tag. That's this the most 80s. desirable tag, the colored rainbow tag. I mean, There's little, also grayscale, but, but. It's a little bit, of, oh, it's so awesome. Look at how beautiful it is. That's cool. Oh my God, we have more guys. We have just more. found another pile. Yeah. Well, because he had them like all folded up weird. All right, next I've got this Spoiled Man, Beverly Hills Theodore. I was like, what is that? Because it's on this 80s tag. And I looked it up. It's a cologne called Spoiled Man. Oh, jeez. <laughs> all right. So uh, next I've got Salty Dog Surf Shop. And this is like a 90s. Haynes tag right there. Uh, this wait, 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 I'm trying to see the dog. 1998. Okay. And look at that back graphic. Oh, it's, it's really good. Fun. What a fun back hit. What a fun back hit. Very cool. cute. Next, I've got this Lake Mead Air, Boulder City, Nevada. Here's the front. This is a, I've got like a, it's like a Thunderbird. Handful of dead stock tees here. Look how cool it is. That is pretty cool. Fly Grand Canyon. Next, I've got this Club Edge in Restaurant. Oh, this one's awesome. This is from Brian Head, Utah. Look at the back hit on this, guys. Ooh, neon and surfing. What? Sur skiing. Surfing. Skiing. What? Sorry. <laughs> is it awesome? That's cool. And it's on, uh, this is a 90s Haynes tag. Okay. Very, very nice. And then, this is the last one here before I get to my... my the, the coup de bras. The pièce de résistance. This is from 1989, Minnesota. Just like Minnesota, little, don't you know? Just a cute little camping. This battery's about to die. Is it? Mm-hmm. It's blinking at me. It's okay. Uh, and this is, that's actually, you see that more often in the 90s, but it does go back into the late 80s. So, last piece. Everybody already saw it, Vicki. Okay. Uh, you're gonna, we're gonna see how you feel about it. If I can find it, did I lose it? Where did it go? Oh no. No. It was under your stuff. I don't know where you put I know. it. Dang nab it. I have to edit this, but here it is. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Hey Vicky. I saw this and I had I could not resist it. I had to grab it. Are you ready for this? Let's see how you feel about it. Wow. That might be the best Jesus tea I've ever seen in my life. And that is, I don't know what that horrific rainbow clown is, but <laughs> I think that would scare me if that was what was telling me about Jesus loving me. $25 for that. That's a, wow. <laughs> I mean, come on guys. All right. So been horrific. So that's our haul. That's everything that we got. Uh, yeah, the battery is gonna die soon. Make sure you're following um, us on Instagram at Boss Reseller Remix. I'm announcing speakers um, every other day along with other great stuff. Make sure you go to the website. You can see all the speakers, resellerremix.com. And tickets go on sale in less than two weeks. <gasps> Don't yeah. miss out. July 1st, guys. July 1st. So exciting. <laughs> Bye.